So, hello, and thank you for joining me again in my... It is a very tiny garden, but you're being led to believe this garden is massive. And uh, so, this particular bed that we're standing in, we call the blue bed here. And it's not because I use blue flowers, it's because I did the trickiest planting of all. I chose blue pots. So, we gathered up all our broken pots that we had over quite a few years and they are blue, they just happen to be some blue ones that we had that were broken and we placed them here in this bed. But that wasn't the only thing I kind of did. If you look further back um, against the wall of the greenhouse, I also had tin put on the wall of the greenhouse powder coated in the same tone as the blue pots. Blue pots, by the way, are probably the trickiest color to plant because you are semi-limited to what you're gonna be able to plant with them. And so we've softened the containers down with the planting. So um, this bed in the spring doesn't always look that good. If you come as a customer, you'll see it has a lot of pink, or I'm sorry, more of a red uh, tulip planted in mass in here. But it is really now when the bed really comes together and really shines. Unfortunately, it's the end of the season and when nobody really sees it but me. So it's a good way to see it now is on uh, through a video like this. So this bed was created with a couple of different thoughts in mind. First, we wanted a height at the back of the greenhouse, softening down the greenhouse. And we did that through the use of Ravenna grass and Carl Forrester. And both those grasses are extremely popular number one sellers. The next grass that I absolutely love and nobody buys, this is a little Deschampsia. This is Pixie Fountain Deschampsia. It's just a little green grass and it just, we just love it. And then we've used penstemons and silvers and um, all sorts of different um, medium blooming to late blooming in here because of the, the grasses. I've also used some mid blooming peonies. But the star of the show is really the annual pots. And these are the simplest annual pots that you can create taking into consideration the blueness of them. So we've used very simple pink geraniums in this pot a gray, beautiful Senecchio, and a black leaf Pidiospermum, all of which things you can buy, and um, place into a container, something like that. Have these beautiful colored pots in your garden during the winter months and during the early spring months so that the color of the pots, but with the blue wall behind it, um, it really stands out. So the blue pots in this blue bed really are the icing or the pizzazz in the whole garden. It really brings it together. If you didn't have these pots in here, you'd have very little to no interest.